the Undoy case, uh, if I remember about, uh, it was only like a storm passing through Metro Manila from the Pacific all the way to China Sea in about uh, seven hours perhaps. And the rainfall, I think between eight to up to about two in the afternoon was about 255 millimeters. So very intense for that matter in 24 hours it reached about 450 uh, millimeters. In the case of Karina, what I've seen in the news, perhaps that was from Pagasa, 590 millimeters from Monday morning to Wednesday mm. afternoon. So you've got about almost 60 hours, 590 millimeters. So mm. the intensity is uh, smaller, but you know, per hour, millimeters per hour, but of course it is prolonged. Yeah. Typical habagat, moon, moons on uh, rains. So that's uh, the difference. But of course, in a matter of uh, if you have prolonged rains for one and a half days, two days, you may be getting floods similar to each other, Ondoy and then Karina. Mm. Okay. How about you, Pamela? Would you be able to weigh in on the difference between the two storms? Pero dun sa experience ng tao, like on the level of um, people experiencing the storm, would you say there was a difference this time around? Maybe due to other factors other than rainfall? Yeah, so I think, first of all, it's important for us to distinguish between hazard and disaster. So typhoon and flood, they're the hazards. And what uh, Dr. Guillermo just described is the hazard. Disaster is the impact of the hazard. So not all as hazards become disaster. So if you have uh, like a country like Japan, no, na very uh, mas, mas ano yung preparedness and mitigation compared to us, you could have the same level of hazard, different ano, impact. So um, we're seeing some similarities in terms of the hazards for both Karina and Ondoy. So from a disaster perspective, I look at the impacts. And immediately what I look at is the death toll and the displacement. Mm -hmm. And it's very telling of the, the figures are very telling of the state of DRRM in the country. Death toll, mas mataas ang Ondoy, yeah. 710. Karina, much lower. Last time I checked is 13, but pero baka nagsa-search and rescue uh, up to now. So baka umakit pa yan, but I would say probably not to the to the hundreds. Mm -hmm. But if you look at displacement, on Dwight, 450,000 displaced, mm -hmm. for Karina, 800,000. So what is that telling us? We're doing better in terms of disaster response, but the more long-term recovery and mitigation, that's where the gaps are. 